Okay, so in this problem, we have uh, 2x plus 1 over square root of x plus 4 dx. So what we can do um, right off the bat is just split it up into two separate integrals. We can put 2x and then 1 over here. Um, why we can do that is because it's addition on the um, numerator. If it was multiplication, you can't do that. But since it's addition, we can. We can split it into two different integrals. Now, we can do u substitution, which is, so we'll set the denominator, right? We'll say that u is equal to x plus 4. And then so we take the derivative, right, because we need du. So we take the derivative, which so it's du is equal to dx. Um, so the thing is, even though now we have the square root of u right here, right, because we just did u substitution, we still have x in the numerator. And we can't have two different variables. We can't take the integral of two different variables. So therefore, what we can do is uh, we can use the same thing, but then get an expression for 2x. So we take the same thing, u equals x plus 4, and try to get 2x. So the first thing we can do is subtract 4 on each side. So we get u minus 4 is equal to x. Next thing we can do is uh, multiply it by 2. Okay, so mul we multiply 2 on each side. So we get 2x here and 2 here. Uh, multiply it across, 2u is equal to... 2u times 2 times negative 4 is equal to negative 8. Now, since we have all of that, remember that that's what we wanted, because we wanted to get rid of 2x. So now we can replace 2x with 2u minus 8. So we get 2u minus 8 and the square root of u. Remember that right here, I said that u is equal to x plus 4. So we can replace this entire thing with u. So now we have u's for both the numerator and the denominator. Now we can actually take the integral. So uh, the first thing we can do is change the square root to 1 half. Remember, that means the same thing. If you um, uh, u to the 1 half power is the same as square root of u. Now, since we have that, I can move the, uh, this from the denominator to the numerator. So it'll become u negative 1 half. And then what I can do is um, right here, since this is 2 to the 1th power, I can make that 2 over 2. So the exponents are exactly the same. Now I can multiply this across. So it'll be 2u and uh, 2 over 2 times negative 1 half. And remember that when you multiply exponents, it's the same as adding them. So when you multiply this times this, it, you just add the exponents. So it's 2 half uh, plus a negative 1 half. So that would just be 1 half, right? Or you can think about it as 2 over 2 minus 1 half is just 1 half. So we get 2u, 1 half. Next thing is negative 8 times this. So we get negative 8u to the negative 1 half du. Don't forget the du's because they'll count off for it if you don't have it. So now what we can do is actually do the integration. So you can pull out the 2 to the side and then actually do the integration. So here it'll be u and then it'll be plus 1 to this entire expression. So plus 1 is the same as 2 over 2. So if we add 2 over 2 to this, we'll get 3 over 2. right? And then so here, um, we bring it here, but we invert it. So if this is 3 over 2, this will be 2 over 3. Remember that this 2 doesn't participate in this. It's just out to the side. So once again, all I did was add 2 over 2 here. That makes it 3 over 2. Invert it makes it 2 over 3. And the same thing here. Um, uh, the 8's out to the side. So negative 1 half, we add 2 over 2, which so we're just adding 1, but you can rewrite 1 as 2 over 2. We add 2 over 2, that gets us a positive 1 half. Remember, now we invert it, so 1 half becomes 2 over 1, which is just 2. So now we can multiply the thing we pulled out to the side. So 2 over 2 is equal to 4 over third, 4 over 3, and then u, right, and then 3 over 2, and then 8 times 2 is 16 u, and then to the 1 half. Now remember that we said that u is equal to x plus 4, um, right here, u is equal to x plus 4. Don't leave it in u because they'll count off for that um, on exams. So now we have this part of the expression, but remember that we split it into two different integrals. So we have to do the other part right now. So for this one, um, once again we set u is equal to x plus 4, and take the derivative of each side, we get du is equal to dx. So we can put 1 over square root of u, du, 
And so we can rewrite this as 1 over u to the 1 half power du, and then keep going. <clears throat> so make this um, from the denominator to the numerator, get u negative 1 half. And now actually do the integration. So plus 2 over 2 will get you a positive 1 half. And then the inverse of 1 half will be 2. And then finally, you replace the u with your x part, which is u is equal to x plus 4. So you'll get 2x plus 4 to the 1 half. Now you bring that down, so all of this is one unit. Um, remember tad c, once again, they'll count off if you don't have it. And then finally, since these two are exactly the same, right? x plus 4 to the 1 half, x plus 4 to the 1 half, you can simplify this by saying negative 16 plus 2 will just be negative 14x plus 4 to the 1 half. Remember the plus c, because you don't want to do all the work and just get just still get it wrong because you didn't add the plus C. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.